Welcome to Websites for Beginners. This is JP and in this tutorial we'll be looking at the image comparison widget or element that you can get from CrocoBlock in the Jet Elements add-ons to Elementor. Wow, that is a mouthful. Now image comparison is something that you often see on websites and this is a kind of a self-explanatory element. There's not much to it and when I show it to you you're going to immediately understand how it works and what you need to do. So let's go into Elementor and we are going to, if you are in Elementor and you've installed the plugins from CrocoBlock Jet Elements, you will see over here Jet Elements and if you go down on it you will see image, image, where is it, image comparison over here. You can also type it at the search bar at the top. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it in and nicely Elementor will open a section for me with that widget already placed in it. Immediately you know, okay, I'm going to have an image of before and I'm going to have an image of after and that's how easy it's going to be. The first thing I want to do here is I want to disable the autoplay so that you can see what I'm doing. Going here on the left to settings and then autoplay, disable that. Right, and then we're going to stick on this slide over here. Let's go to items because this is where your content will be going and I'm going to delete this one so that we start just with one item before and after. When you click on it, you will see there's a before label, which is up here, before, and there is an after label, which is the one here on the right. And you can actually change those labels if you so please. I'm going to leave it at that. What I'm going to do here is display images that I have processed, how they looked before the time, and of course, how they look after they had been processed. So for my before, I'll choose here one. I'll choose this model over here and I'll add her and it will update with her. And then for the after image, I'll choose this black and white version of her. So immediately you can see we can change maybe the, the before label to color. And then for after label, we can change that to black and white. This is a good example of different naming that you can give to the labels. In the page builder, it's going to be a little bit tricky to drag it around. If you click on it and you move it, you'll see it does this. But after that, I can move it around. But when you go and view it, it won't be a problem. Now we have this. So how can we add more images? And that's what you do here. Click on it, add item, and there we go for our next one. Let's call this one before and our after label after. Add an image here and I have this one of an old deserted car, maybe something like that. And then another one, I'm going to add a effects of it. Now, I've added this second one, but because it's not on autoplay, you cannot see it. So you scroll down here to the bottom and you see the dot navigation, click on the second one, and there you can see that. Let's add one more, add item, and I'm going to also call it before and after. And for this one, I have this beautiful sunset. And the second image is a water paint rendering or a paint rendering of the same image. So now we've added our items. That is our content. Let's go have a look at the settings. So the first one that we disabled was the autoplay. Let's add the autoplay so that you can see how that works. It's at autoplay speed of 5000 milliseconds, which means every five seconds it is going to transition. And as you can see there, we see the old rusting car and this one hasn't updated yet. Let's just go see items, make sure it's loaded. Yeah, I know this image because I haven't really played around with its quality. It's coming at, at one megabyte. Please don't do that, it's just too big. You have to get it around, down to around 300, 200 kilobytes. So you'll have to go play around a little bit with the settings on that when you export it either from Photoshop or on one raw, whichever photo editor you are using. That should be updating now. So if we go back to our settings and we go through the whole procedure again, our model, then our rustic old abandoned car, and then our beautiful sunset. There we go. And you can see, hey, there it does it again. Nice. Okay, so what else do we have here? Slides to show. Let's click on three. What does this do? 
and it will put all three of them next to each other. Let's put it back on one. And what else? We have infinite loop, which means it will just keep on repeating from the beginning. There's an effect for slide or there's a, an effect for fade. I would stick to the slide one. The fade one is a little bit strange when you are doing this. Eh, not that bad, but I like the slide. I prefer the slide and the animation speed, of course, is how long the transition takes. 500 milliseconds is half a second. Now, show arrows on navigation will give you these normal arrows that we see here when you have a slider in your website and you can have them. And then you have your dot navigation here at the bottom. You can also change how these arrows look. And that's it. That's more or less exactly what you're going to be doing with it. You can style it a lot. If you go into the styling, uh, a few things that you may understand or pay attention to here is the label, which are these labels up here. You can change the color, the topography for that. Let's just change the color of the before label to this blue. You will see it changes to blue. And then the after, we can change the different color, maybe to green. So you can see there we've done that. And is the topography, the color, the background. Let's change the background also maybe to white. See how that looks. Go to before and change that also to white. There you go. That's how we can change that one. That's our label. The handle is this one here in the middle, and you can do a lot with that. You control how wide the handle appears, the height of the handle, and you can change, of course, the background. I change that to the green. Let's make it another color just for purposes. And then the alignment is also very interesting over here. You can put it at the top or you can put it here at the bottom. Bottom is often very nice, but center is quite standard. Then we have a divider width for that one. You can change the divider width up to 10. Let's see if we can make it bigger at 20. Yes, you can even do it at 20. Change the color of the divider to black. Okay, interesting there. And then the starting position. If you're working with a before and after, often you want to show more of the before than you want to do of the after. And for that, you drag it all the way to the right and you will see that the divider starting position will now reveal more of your original photo with the slider and the divider that can be dragged all the way to the left. And then you have your normal styling for your arrows as well as the dots here at the bottom in terms of selection, size and color. And that is your image comparison element in the Croco Block Jet Elements add-on for Elementor. Somebody should pay me for saying that. This is great if you are working with this, but I want you to think outside the, the you know the regular before and after image. For example, you know you can have a, an, an antidepressant kind of medicine that you are trying to sell, or a, a sad photo before the time, and then a happy photo after the time. Like, hey, take our antidepressants. It will really give you a quirk in your step. And another one that I've seen as well that people do is with cooking. For example, you can have your ingredients that you're going to add to a dish, and then your after photo can be the dish. So don't limit yourself to these before and after photo edited images. You can be really creative in that. For example, if you are making a hobby, if you have a hobby, for example, like painting, you can show your empty can canvas with your paint before the time and then your final product or your original sketching of your drawing and then your final product afterwards. That's far more interesting to show people a little bit your workflow with your before and afters. Think of that or a diet company show you before the diet and after the diet. That is the image comparison. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.